and here's one I prepared earlier and when you have your head warmer wide enough now it's time to start the border look at me I even have matching hook and and yarn well, I think that's plenty wide enough for my head you can do it as wide as you want so you can take out your stitch markers now we don't need those anymore and what we're going to do is put on our border and we are going to work across the end here and we're going to put on our button loop so I have my button and I would have liked it a little bit bigger but I'm just using buttons from my button stash so what we're going to do is chain one now you can half double crochet or you can single crochet around. I'm going to single crochet around. So I'm going to go into that corner stitch there with a single crochet. And when we do a button loop we want it to be even. So I've got one, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. So I'm going to do two and this bit is might be a little bit of mucking around I mean nothing too drastic but just so we can find the size we need our buttonhole so I've chained two and we're going to skip one and then go into the stitches here and then see if my button goes ooh <laughs> goes through the hole and it sure does and you don't want it too loose like you don't want this to be a big gaping hole like this I'll show you so if you do way too many chains and then you go back down in here then this probably won't stay on your button will it probably going to fall off when it's moving around yeah so we don't want that you want it to be nice and tight so you just need to fiddle around a bit there until you find it nice and I've just skipped one hole there one stitch and then I'm gonna go into those ones and you want to try and get it even so the buttonholes in the middle doesn't matter too much you know, get it as even as you can so that it looks nice so now we want to work along one of our edges and you can put two or three stitches in your corner so that it goes around the corner nicely and then we're just working along any ends that are hanging out like this one crochet over them, lay them on the top and then just work around them over them and just keep doing this all the way around making sure we put two or three stitches in the corners until we get back to where we started just here if you can't remember put a stitch marker there that will help you know which is what I'm going to do right now that'll help you know where you're at and when we get back to where we started we are just going to take this out first single crochet into that stitch and then I'm just going to single crochet around my buttonhole as well so I'm just going across going into the buttonhole twice because I had two chains and then going over to the other side and then slip stitching 
and then do a chain and cut it off and then that will secure that down I'll show you but there we are pulling it up and that secures that down now finding our needle we want to sew in our ends placing your ear warm on your head you now want to figure out where the button has to go so just pulling it over and then marking the spot and that is where we need to sew on our button and we want to sew our button onto the center so it has to be evenly spaced either side and here we go we have our finished head warmer and you can make this in a cotton version as well and then you would have a headband for uh, summer I think this has come out really really nice I love this color too and you could make a flower or a bow I'll put in some links for some videos and attach it to the side here that would look awesome as well and from the front it actually looks like you're wearing a beanie apart from my hair sticking out there so I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and till next time have a fantastic day I just found some flowers that I um, have already made it's got a bobby pin sticking out of it so just excuse that just thought I could show you what it looked like with a flower stuck on the side now that flower is massive so you might not want it that big um, here's a smaller one which I just stuck a hair clip on the back of you could do that and have that like as a you could change them all around you could just clip it into the the um, head warmer, ear warmer. So yeah, you can make all different types of flowers and um, put them on. I think it looked pretty cool. All right, see you bye. So you thought you got rid of me, but I found some more flowers that I've made. Just so you can see all different looks. This is the rosette flower. That's pretty easy to make. So you could put one of those on there. You can make, you can adjust the size of this flower too, so you can make it a lot bigger than that. What else have we got here? Uh, this one is an easy flower which looks like a rose I'm pretty sure I've got this as a video so I'll put a link in if I do so you could add that to the side I think I like this flower a lot so yeah you could put that on there that looks really cool and you can make it any colour that you like of course and then this is one of the easy flowers as well so you can Obviously, I haven't attached it to anything, so I've got these little bits hanging down. Still hanging down. So, yeah, there's another look too of another flower, and I'll put the link in for that too. Okay, I promise I'm going now. See you later.